I bring you greetings from the uh, Capitol building. My name is Randy Shepard with Crossfire Ministries. I just met my brother as I was walking through here. You know, as a little guy, I was really into basketball. I used to play basketball for hours. When I was 16 years of age, I played on the same team with Michael Jordan at the University of North Carolina basketball camp. That gave me a real desire to play basketball. But unfortunately, I put basketball before the Lord. And I was so into basketball that mom and dad would come home and I would be spinning the ball like so, putting it on different fingers and moving it around, and they didn't think that was too strange. The next day I came home, I had a spoon out. We go to Africa, Russia, Cuba, the Ukraine, Argentina, Brazil, Puerto Rico, Mexico. We tell folks this is how boys from North Carolina eat ice cream. So you get it going real good, and you eat your ice cream like so. But I like to say now, taste and see that the Lord is good. How do you taste the Lord? The Word of God says, repent and believe on Jesus, Yeshua, and you shall be saved. Next day, Mom and Dad came home. I had a toothbrush out. And just like this toothbrush is going to clean my teeth, I've been blessed to go to Israel 23 times. And in Israel, there's a place called Golgotha. It's called the place of the skull. It's where our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, went to the cross. He was between two thieves. You see, we just witnessed and we paid alms to the judge that just passed away. But one day, friends, we're going to stand before the ultimate judge. And we're going to be judged for our sins. And you're looking at a sinner. My sins have separated me from God. But God loved us so much that he went to the cross. He was fully God. He was fully man. Spikes were nailed in his hands and his feet. His side was pierced. He went to the grave. You see, he didn't stay in the grave like me, like our dear sister Will. But on the third day, Jesus rose from the grave. And he paid the penalty for you and I. And just like this silly toothbrush is going to clean my teeth, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, wants to clean your heart up and give you peace and joy and purpose for living. And then when you get on fire for the Lord, like many people that will be here this weekend, we have prayer in the lawn for our nation. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from the wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. And the Bible says in Acts 1.8, But ye shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. If you're watching this video or you're standing nearby and you've never repented of your sin, it's very simple. The Bible says come with childlike faith. So just acknowledge that you're a sinner like me. Just tell God, I'm sorry for my sins, Lord. I turn from them. I repent. Just like that silly toothbrush cleaned Randy's teeth, Jesus, clean my heart up. Come into my life. I put my faith and trust in you, not in the laws of the land, not in the judges of the land, but in the ultimate judge, the Lord Jesus Christ. If you know that I made that decision today, let Crossfire know in Asheville, North Carolina, or let a pastor know. Let someone know and begin to walk with the Lord. God bless you. Thank you for listening. And go tell someone about the Lord Jesus today. Thank you very much.